हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ लीनियर होमोजीनियस पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कॉन्स्टेंट प्रोफेसिंग इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडी हाउ टू फाइंड सी एफ नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी रूल्स टू फाइंड पार्टिकुलर एंट्रीगल हियर आई रिटर्न टू रूल्स टू फाइंड दी पार्टिकुलर एंट्रीगल एंड वी विल डिस्कस ओनली टू रूल्स इन दिस लेक्चर और इफ दिस वीडियो विल बी more than 10 or 15 minutes then we will convert this video is also into the two videos so the first method is when rhs is of the form e raised to power ax plus by then pi of 1 upon f d d dash e raised to power ax plus by d d dash means d stand for del over del x and d dash stand for del over del y so pi of 1 upon f d d dash e raised to power ax plus by is equals to 1 upon f a b that is we can change d by a and d dash by b e raised to power ax plus by providing f a b not equals to 0 if this is equals to 0 then we have to multiply by x and differentiate denominator with respect to d then put d equals to a d dash equals to b that is x into 1 upon f dash a b e raised to power a x plus b y providing f dash a b not equals to zero. If again f dash a b is also equals to zero, then again differentiate denominator with respect to x and multiply by x in the numerator. Then condition will be x square 1 upon f double dash a b e raised to power a x plus b y providing f double dash a b not equals to zero. And this process will continue till the constant term. Or non-zero term arises, and the second method is when RHS is of the form sin a x plus b y or cos a x plus b y, then P I of one upon f d square d d dash d dash square sin a x plus b y or cos a x plus b y is can be changed into that is we have to convert d square by negative of a square d d dash by negative of a b and d dash square is equal to negative of b square. And if there is sine, then put sine. If there is cos, then put cos. And the same condition, this particular denominator cannot be equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, then again we have to multiply by x and differentiate denominator with respect to d. Then again replace these particular terms, right? So we are moving on to some questions based on these particular formulas. So this is the first question, question number one. Solve delta to z over del x square minus 5 delta to z over del x square del y plus 6 delta to z over del y square is equal to e raised to power x plus 2y. So to start this question, first we have to identify this type of problem is this is the second order linear homogeneous partial differential equation with constant coefficient. So to solve this, we have to put delta over del x equals to d delta over del y equals to d dash. So d square minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash square z is equals to e raised to power x plus 2y. So we have to find auxiliary equation first. For, for auxiliary equation, we have to put d equals to m and d equals to d dash equals to 1. Then equate to zero the bracket of LHS. So m square minus 5m plus 6 equals to zero. This is the quadratic equation. We can solve it as usual. After solving, we get two roots 3 and 2. Both are distinct. Roots are distinct. As stated earlier in the previous lecture. The CF is equals to f1 y plus 3x plus f2 y plus 2x. Now we have to find the PI. That is PI of 1 upon this particular bracket into this particular function. So 1 upon d square minus 5 d d dash plus 6 d dash square e raised to power x plus 2y. So how to write find the PI? That is PI of 1 upon f d d dash e raised to power a x plus b y is equals to 1 upon f a b. e raised to power a x plus b y providing f a b not equals to zero. So here, what is the value of a? A is one and the value of b is two. So we have to put d equals to one and d dash equals to two, providing f a b not equals to zero. That is one upon one minus five into one into two plus six into two square e raised to power x plus two y. So it is equals to 1 minus 
plus 24 e raised to power x plus 2y that is 1 by 15 e raised to power x plus 2y. So, general solution gs is equals to cf plus pi or z is equals to f1 y plus 3x plus f2 y plus 2a plus 1 upon 15 e raised to power x plus 2y. Now, we are moving on to the second question. Now, solve 4 delta z over del x square minus 4 delta z over del x del y where delta z over del y square is equal to e raised to power x plus 2y. So, to solve it as earlier we study putting del over del x equals to d, del over del y equals to d dash. So, this particular condition exists after for a we have to put d equals to m and d dash equals to 1 then equate to 0 the bracket of LHS that is 4m square minus 4m plus 1 equals to 0 on solving this quadratic equation we get n equals to 1 by 2 1 by 2 that is roots are equal and this is also said in the previous lecture cf is equals to f1 y plus x by 2 plus x f2 y plus x by 2. Now moving on to the pi that is pi of 1 upon 4d square minus 4d d dash plus d dash square e raised to power x plus 2y. When we put a equals to 1 on putting d equals to 1 and d dash equals to 2, this 1 upon f12 is equals to 0. 4 minus 8 plus 4 that is 0. So, the condition fail. When this condition fail, that is if f a b is equals to 0, then p i is equals to x into 1 upon f dash a b e raised to power a x plus b y. That is, we have to multiply by x and differentiate this denominator with respect to d. That is, x into 1 upon 8 d minus 4 d dash. And we are differentiating with respect to d. So, this d dash will become 0. Now, this condition exists. Again, put a d equals to 1 and d dash equals to 2. So, this again will equals to 0. Again, it is equals to 0. So, again multiply by x and differentiate it with respect to d. So, 1 upon 8 e raised to power x plus 2y. Now, the constant term exists. So, pi arises and you know gs is equals to cf plus pi or z is equals to f1 y plus x by 2 plus x f2 y plus x by 2 plus 1 upon 8 x square e raised to power x plus 2 y. So, this is the second question based on first formula when pi becomes 0. Now, we are completing this video at this stage and problem based on the second formula will be addressed in the next video. Thank you. If you like this video, then like and subscribe.